welcome back to my opera channel. I'm Avi. Hello. And you are? Hmm? Hmm? Great. Thank you. Leave that in the comments box below so I actually know. Anyway, moving on. It is now mid-December, which means that most of the auditions for the UK schools and stuff have are over. Not, not, not all of them and not everywhere in the world, but in the UK, we're, we're closing it down before Christmas. Now, this is a wonderful time of year. Some people are going to be getting miraculous letters in, the, in their inboxes saying, congratulations, you have been accepted to the school of your dreams. It is really time to celebrate those victories and, and really do go out and celebrate. If you have made it in, amazing. Get your cups of tea, your glasses of wine, your whatever floats your boat, pamper yourself, celebrate, do it and do it well. But, some of us might not be as victorious. So what now? How do you show your face at that family Christmas dinner or Hanukkah party or any other family gathering in this festive season or just in general until you figure out what else to do with your life? So here is what you're going to do when you don't get into that dream school that you have been dreaming about ever since you discovered it when you were 12 and practice hours and hours and hours in front of the mirror in the bathroom practicing the speech that you would say or what you would do when you got that acceptance letter in the mail and then potentially a scout would have also found you on the street and given you an acceptance letter to a school that you didn't even know you applied to because they applied for you because they thought that you had talent and you also got a full merit scholarship because you're that good and at the same time, Hogwarts also sent a letter saying that they had a raw problem with their admissions office, but here's your letter, and you're also expect, ex expected to be at Hogwarts in September. What, what do you do when none of that happens? Was that just me who did all of that imagining and hoped and dreamt? But yes, what do you do? First off, please cry. I mean, you don't have to cry, but it's completely okay to cry. And actually, it's pretty important to cry. It's something that you have worked really hard for and didn't get the results that you wanted. And you really need to let out those emotions so that you can move on and do other things and be able to accept the fact that this didn't happen that right now. Doesn't mean it won't happen in a couple of years. Just meant that it didn't happen right now. Secondly, pamper yourself. Best way you can. If it is you know, doing something that you haven't done in a really long time, like showered or bathed or shaved, all those things that you probably neglected because you were under so much stress and so much tension and really were worried that it wasn't going to happen if you, I mean, who knows, but really pamper yourself and make yourself feel good about you and find things that you feel good doing. If it is going to the movies or watching the entire season three of Marvelous Mrs. Maisel in one day, and now you're really upset that there's no more Marvelous Mrs. Maisel for another year, there need to be more than six episodes per season, then do that. Do what you think is necessary for you to feel good. Be yourself. Be you. Cuddle yourself, basically. Number three, remember that this is not the end of the world. Yes, it sucks. Oh, it really sucks. It sucks so bad. It is the it is the worst case scenario that your brain didn't want to happen. I was going to get in. I knew I was good enough. I knew this was the thing for me. I knew I could do anything. Yes. And it doesn't mean that you can't. It just means that right now, that school or that company or that job, anything of that didn't need you right now. And it's not because you're not good enough. It may mean that you're too good or they don't know really what to do with you or you don't fit into their square box of what they are looking for in their repertoire base or in their department. And that's fine. That's totally fine. That just means that you need to find the box that you fit into or to create the box that you deserve to be in. And that's so difficult to think about and it's so difficult to just accept. But... It's not the end of the world. It just means that that day, that specific person didn't think that you fit them. You could have sung your best you've ever sang and it just wasn't what they were looking for. And that's fine. That's totally fine. And it's actually so true and so poignant because in the music world, think about it. You don't like everything, do you? Do you? Because if you like 
every single singer and you think everyone's amazing, I have some questions for you personally. So let me know if you're someone who loves absolutely everything. Being a musician is steeped in people thinking that you're not what they want or change this so you can sound more like that or, you know, perform this in this way because that's the way I want to hear it or your voice doesn't sound like the way I like to listen to this song. How many times have you heard an aria and said, that's a great aria, but I just wish it wasn't with that voice. I'm sure it has happened once or twice, if not more. Or even just covers that you don't like. The words are great, the music is great, but something's just not working for you because the way this person's performing it is different than how I would see it. And all of that stuff is what makes music so great, what makes music available to so many people, what makes music something that we can communicate and convert and have a conversation and arguments and discussions and everything to make music make you feel something. But it's all about making someone else feel something. So it's okay if they didn't feel that you were what they wanted. And it's okay for you to be upset about that. Actually, it's natural for you to be upset about it. It is so natural that let it happen. And it's okay. It's totally okay. And it sucks. And you might not have gotten something that you really truly deserved just because something didn't happen. But it's not a rigged system. It's not because someone has done something that you haven't. Yes, other people have more opportunities because of where they live or the amount of money they have in their bank account or the fact that their parents have more to do with it. Yes, but that can only get you so far. And if you persist and believe in yourself, there's really nothing that can stop you. And you just have to really, really, truly believe in yourself. And now is not the time you want to hear that. You don't want to hear this from me. You're like, Avi, you don't know anything. You got into your dream school. Yes, but it took me five years. And then who knows what's going to happen now? I don't know what's happening three months from now, let alone do I know what's happening tomorrow. And I got a lot of rejection before. So, whew, so much rejection. It doesn't get easier any part of the way. The journey does not get easier. It just gets more familiar. But the feelings are still the same feelings. It's still the same emotions and it's still the same general disappointment that what have I done wrong? You haven't done anything wrong. You've done your best. You've done everything that you could have potentially done in order to make this work. So please remember that you are good enough and that if anyone at any of these holiday seasons wants to say to you, oh, you know, you should have worked harder, you know what you can tell them? Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And maybe next time I will try again. But for right now, I'm going to figure out what my next steps are going to be. Whether that is to try again next year or take some time off and rediscover yourself or just try something new. Maybe a different form of music. Maybe a different book. Maybe a different school. Maybe learn something else completely and then come back to it. Learn costume design, which was something that I was planning on doing if I hadn't gotten into opera singing in the end. I wanted to do anything that had to do with theater. So if it was music and theater, that's what I was gonna do at the end of the day. Let life take you to where it needs you to go. Because at the end of the day, you will end up where you're supposed to be if you let it happen. Be upset, be as upset as you want to be, but don't let it hold you down forever because that my friends, that is a bad idea. What you need is just a couple of weeks of feeling sorry for yourself and then hit the ground running next year with as many new ideas as possible. So yeah, I think that was enough for today. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here. So that's all folks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video and please let me know what your go-to feel good thing is. Is it Mars Bliss, Mrs. Maisel? Have you watched the third season? Hmm? Hmm? Also, please help me out on my SoundCloud. It's kind of like Patreon, but I have a deadline. And that deadline is, which is December 23rd, which is the first night of Hanukkah, which will be starting eight days of Aprika. Yes, we're going with Aprika. In the meantime, have a great, 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 great week. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that little notification bell so you can be notified when I make a new video, which is 
every single Monday. <laughs> in the meantime, have a great, 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 great week. Drink lots and lots of tea. Oh, and go see an opera. And remember why you love to do what you love to do. Yeah. Let me know what you need to see. Use the hashtag Diva Studies. And I will find you.